just arrived at this Goodwill, did not find anything except for Dustin. <laughs> We're Hello. going to a new area, so just starting the vlog off. I'm, out, I'm outside, I'm glad I have my mic on. Um, hopefully the wind is sound is a lot better with this little fuzzy thing I got on, hit my mic, but we're taking off. Just got out of Salvation Army in the footage you've seen, the PS2 and the um, PS1 overpriced. Can't pay that. They are a good seller. Well, the PS2 is a good seller. Unfortunately, you know, just overpriced, but this place never has anything, so I was excited for like three seconds. So just got out of this Goodwill here, and this is my second time being here. I don't know how many times you've been here. It's my second. Second. So. I wasn't too thrilled with the first, so first I haven't trip, made a trip. Yeah, it was terrible for me too, but we did all right. Uh, Dustin got this um, Sony G Protection CD Walkman used. It's like 80 bucks on Amazon, so pretty good money. It's a dollar ninety-nine. Yeah, decent shape. One thing I could say, the prices were definitely right in this Goodwill compared to a lot of them. Got this remote. It is a just a Sony remote, so looked it up, 99 cents, and it will be, it was t selling for $20, so after fees and everything, at least $10. Had a really good rank, so $10 bill there, and we got, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Uh, I've seen this game sealed before at Goodwills, but usually it's like five or six dollars because it's sealed. This was two dollars sealed, so I'll send it in and make five bucks. So. $15 in there for me. Dustin did pretty good. So we're going to head to some new places now and make some money. So we just got out of a Goodwill and <laughs> another Quelf game mm -hmm. Dustin found. So this is the second one in like two days or something. So I'm sure it still sells for about 30. Yep. Uh, if all the pieces are there anyway. So it should looks be. Looks like it's in good condition. Oh, that puzzle you end up getting. This actually looks a little different than. Huh, anyway. Um, yeah, I got this puzzle at. 99 cents it it scanned for about th uh, I think it was 1349 buy box it's sealed so can't really complain there um, shoes I got these goofy looking new balance um, in my opinion they're something that nurses would wear um, you know seven bucks eBay price used is anywhere from 30 to 100. I mean, there's people selling them for 105. Um, there have been sold listings for 100, so that's something that could be priced at you know 75 or best offer and try and move them or sit on them for a little bit, but they're not bad. Nice, nice. And uh, just. Uh, good good shape pair of New Balance. Um, New Balance seems to sell used, for me anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, seven bucks, I'm probably going to list them around the $35 range or best offer. 
um, try and at least double my money, but um, for me, shoes are a piece of cake. It's easy. Six, seven pictures, list them. Yeah. Or best offer, get them sold, move them out. The great thing about going out with Dustin is I'm learning a lot about shoes. <laughs> yep, bread, so, and, bread and butter for me. So when we're out, uh, not together, maybe I won't miss a good pair of shoes. And right. So that's what he got me real quick. <laughs> if you watch my videos, you're probably going to laugh. But I found another one of these stupid topsy-turvy things. Hopefully the price goes up this spring like it did last year. Uh, if not, I'm going to have too many of these. This one was $2.99. Usually I only pay $1.99 for them. Sorry, I know these bags are loud on the mic and stuff, but... You see this Clarity phone? Uh, you've probably seen this in a haul video, but it was complete and had the box and everything. I actually just sold one of these for $94, but it was, like I said, complete. This is just the, the handset, so I don't know what I can get for it. Maybe 20 hopefully 30 It was only $2.99. Uh, that Clarity brand is really good. And then the last thing was just a simple, another Sony uh, CD player on Amazon. It was like 30 bucks. Paid 3 so maybe $17. Uh, just have to see. Maybe eBay, maybe make 10 I don't know. I just always pick them up, never really list them or sell them, so I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, it's $10 all day, at yeah. the very least, and you get those home runs sometimes that are $100, 200 you yeah. just, you never know, you it, gotta at least check them out. It had the power, original power cord with it too, but here we are in this area that we don't thrift, and there's a Home Depot over there, so we're gonna hit that, there's a Lowe's somewhere, a Meyer we might hit, there's another Goodwill around, so... Shaping up to be a good day though so far. Just got Home Depot. They scored really big. Yeah, we got um, a bunch of these routers that I've got before and another Home Depot we found. Uh, making $22 a piece after fees and other things. So two, four, six, eight. Who do you appreciate? Two, four, six. You do the math, there's mailboxes that were doubling up to tripling the money. Um, all these, I don't know how many of these I got, but it's about five dollars a piece profit with a super super good rate. So we got the war extenders. Uh, we definitely probably got close to a thousand dollars of the stuff here. But the great thing is we looked up in there, we had them look up, and there's more of these somewhat close to us, so we may just go get even more. Yep. And uh, that's how we do it, right? That's how we do it. Just got out of a brand new Goodwill. Me or Dustin have never been here before. And we found some stuff. You see the car is getting pretty full. Yeah, it is. But first thing is this. Must be the Vampire Slayer board game, which is $61 used if all the pieces are there. Because we got some... Solomon's shoes, $4.99. And then, I'm not sure exactly what this will sell for, but it should be around $40, we're thinking. Yeah. So, we don't know who's getting the Buffy yet. We're actually going to roll a dice. I want to see if there's a dice in here. I actually forgot mine. There is six sided die. So, we're both going to roll it, and whoever wins. Gets the Buffy the Vampire game. So. Highest number? Highest number. All right. Oh, uh, you get it. <laughs> See if you can tie. <laughs> Three. Three. There you go. Well, there you, it is. You found it anyway, so I'm satisfied. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> we're going to hit. Um, where are we going next? Somewhere. We're going somewhere. Just got out of this big Goodwill here. And look what I found. Another Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This one's in worse shape and it was $3 more than the other one. But I bought it to leverage my risk. So if there's missing pieces, either one of them, you know, I should be able to make a complete one. It still sells for $60. But Dustin found a sweet game. Really interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's really good condition. Uh, it's got a ridiculous rank. It's like 2,000 in toys or something. I don't even know. It's not over 10,000 in toys. 
and hopefully it's complete. It's not worth a lot though. Yeah, it's a, surprisingly I'm. But it's really really popular. Yeah. But um, and then there's uh, used Castle Risk, which is Risk and Castle Risk. Risk and Castle Risk. Um, Two games in one, but it's. I, I kind of got it just kind of for myself, and if I need extra pieces eventually for other risks that... Right. I actually have one with extra pieces. So yeah, and I mean, complete. and not only that, but if, if it, it turns out to be complete, I'll, I'll, I'll ship it in. All right, well, we... I don't know what we're doing. This may be it. We'll have to see, but... It's dark. Just got out of this Lowe's, and... Got a cart full of goodies, spent about $300. We got door knobs, door levers, different prices, different profits. The big score though are these um, electric... Small fan wall heaters. Wall heaters, uh, they were like $46. Basically if we price ours, about $119.99, we'll make basically doubling our money. So we're basically splitting this stuff. I'm saying basically a lot. It's going to be hard to fit it in here, but I think this is the last stop when they hit yeah. a couple more Goodwills like in our local area, and then that's pretty much it. But I'll make a final video. Hey everybody, I'm back home. I dropped Dustin off at the last Goodwill. We went in because it had been about 10 hours since we were there, and <clears throat> didn't find anything. But that's cool because my car was literally to the top again. So I left stuff in from the night before and of course we find a bunch of stuff. I should just start leaving my car half full all the time. Uh, it's probably pretty dark in here. I don't have good lighting in this dining room. I don't know if you can see, pretty much see the table. It's filled with stuff. Uh, this isn't even all of it. But I just wanted to close the video out properly and maybe make some points. Like these routers where we found seven of them. I asked the lady and she said, uh, had her look up other stores. Turns out there was uh, another uh, Home Depot about 30 minutes away that had nine of them. So we went in that area. Unfortunately, they weren't clearance at that store. Otherwise, it would have been another like $300 profit. But overall, I cleared, I'd say $500, $750. I don't even know. I got a lot of small things. Um, like these, these door handles, uh, basically $2.50. So I'll make $2.50. One of my favorite finds of the day is the um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer board game. I found two of those. Should be able to have a full set. If I do, I'll leave the results of that in the bottom corner. And that's pretty much going to do it. Let me pick up the camera. Kind of go over it a little bit here. Um, some mail, but you know, just stuff and good. Every, you've seen everything except this. I wanted to show you this. I didn't make a start a video just because I found this. Um, this was at a Lowe's. It was twenty four ninety nine. Normally, I don't know what it is. Pet save something for your dog. But it was sixty two cents for twenty four dollars. Was it on Amazon? But for something that was twenty five dollars and now sixty two cents. I'm sure I'll make money on it. I just thought that was a ridiculous discount for something. Also, <clears throat> if you didn't see uh, these Phillips lights. Poor Dustin, he's restricted in Phillips. So he's a newer FBA seller, so he has a lot of restrictions. Because, you know, he's done eBay for so long. But he did find a ton of shoes. He's probably going to make a couple hundred in shoes. But... And I don't sell shoes, so he pretty much gets all of those. But I felt bad because there was like, I don't know how many of these. At least 20, and it's like $5 profit on each one with their amazing rank. So, that's about going to do it. And you got some stuff in there on the couch in the dark room that hasn't made it to the table. But, this has been Wick. I want to thank everybody for watching. And if you enjoyed it, please... Thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button. Till next time.